Kai. Kai, also known posthumously as Kb Daishi, 774-835, was a Japanese Buddhist monk, civil servant, scholar, poet, and artist who founded the esoteric Shinjin or True Word School of Buddhism. Shinjin followers usually refer to him by the honorific title of Odeishisama and the religious name of Henje Kong. Kai is famous as a calligrapher and engineer. In legend he is attributed with the invention of the kana syllabary, with which the Japanese language is written to this day, as well as the Iroha poem, which helped standardize and popularize kana. Kai was born in 774 in the present day Zantsuji precincts in the province of Sanuki on the island of Shikoku. His family were members of the aristocratic Saiki family, a branch of the ancient Tomo clan. There is some doubt as to his birth name, Tamano is recorded in one source, while Mao is recorded elsewhere. Mao is generally used in modern studies. Kai was born in a period of important political changes with Emperor Kenmu seeking to consolidate his power and to extend his realm, taking measures which included moving the capital of Japan from Nara ultimately to Heian. Little more is known about Kai's childhood. At the age of 15, he began to receive instruction in the Chinese classics under the guidance of his maternal uncle. During this time, the Saiki Tomo clan suffered government persecution due to allegations that the clan chief, Tomo Yakamakai, was responsible for the assassination of his rival Fujiwara no Tanetsugu. The family fortunes had fallen by 791 when Kai journeyed to Nara, the capital at the time, to study at the government university, the Daigakuri. Graduates were typically chosen for prestigious positions as bureaucrats. Biographies of Kai suggest that he became disillusioned with his Confucian studies, but developed a strong interest in Buddhist studies instead. Around the age of 22, Kai was introduced to Buddhist practice involving chanting the mantra of the Bodhisattva Kagarbha. During this period, Kai frequently sought out isolated mountain regions where he chanted the Kagarbha mantra relentlessly. At age 24 he published his first major literary work, Sang Shiki, in which he quotes from an extensive list of sources, including the classics of Confucianism, Daoism, and Buddhism. The Nara temples, with their extensive libraries, possessed these texts. During this period in Japanese history, the central government closely regulated Buddhism through the SG and enforced its policies, based on the Ritsuri system. Ascetics and independent monks, like Kai, were frequently banned and lived outside the law, but still wandered the countryside or from temple to temple. During this period of private Buddhist practice, Kai had a dream, in which a man appeared and told Kai that the Mahavarokana Tantra is the scripture which contained the doctrine Kai was seeking. Though Kai soon managed to obtain a copy of this stra which had only recently become available in Japan, he immediately encountered difficulty. Much of the stra was in untranslated Sanskrit written in the Siddha script. Kai found the translated portion of the stra was very cryptic. Because Kai could find no one who could elucidate the text for him, he resolved to go to China to study the text there. Raiwichi Abe suggests that the Mahavarokana Tantra bridged the gap between his interest in the practice of religious exercises and the doctrinal knowledge acquired through his studies. In 804, Kai took part in a government-sponsored expedition to China in order to learn more about the Mahavarokana Tantra. Scholars are unsure why Kai was selected to take part in an official mission to China, given his background as a private, not state-sponsored, monk. Theories include family connections within the Saiki Tomo clan, or connections through fellow clergy or a member of the Fujiwara clan. The expedition included four ships, with Kai on the first ship, while another famous monk, Saik was on the second ship. During a storm, the third ship turned back, while the fourth ship was lost at sea. Kai's ship arrived weeks later in the province of Fujian and its passengers were initially denied entry to the port while the ship was impounded. Kai, being fluent in Chinese, wrote a letter to the governor of the province explaining their situation. The governor allowed the ship to dock, and the party was asked to proceed to the capital of Chang'an, the seat of power of the Tang dynasty. After further delays, 
the Tang court granted Kai a place in Xi Ming Temple where his study of Chinese Buddhism began in earnest as well as studies of Sanskrit with the Gandharan Pandit Praj who had been educated at the Indian Buddhist University at Nalanda. It was in 805 that Kai finally met Master Huiguo the man who would initiate him into the esoteric Buddhism tradition at Chang'an's Qinglong Monastery. Huiguo came from an illustrious lineage of Buddhist masters, famed especially for translating Sanskrit texts into Chinese, including the Mahavarokana Tantra. Kai describes their first meeting. Accompanied by Jiming, Tans Hung, and several other Dharma masters from the Ziming Monastery, I went to visit him and was granted an audience. As soon as he saw me, the abbot smiled, and said with delight, Since learning of your arrival, I have waited anxiously. How excellent, how excellent that we have met today at last. My life is ending soon, and yet I have no more disciples to whom to transmit the Dharma. Prepare without delay the offerings of incense and flowers for your entry into the Abhishika Mandala. Huiguo immediately bestowed upon Kai the first level Abhishika. Whereas Kai had expected to spend 20 years studying in China, in a few short months he was to receive the final initiation, and become a master of the esoteric lineage. Huiguo was said to have described teaching Kai as like pouring water from one vase into another. Huiguo died shortly afterwards, but not before instructing Kai to return to Japan and spread the esoteric teachings there assuring him that other disciples would carry on his work in China. Kai arrived back in Japan in 806 as the eighth patriarch of esoteric Buddhism, having learned Sanskrit and its Siddha script, studied Indian Buddhism, as well as having studied the arts of Chinese calligraphy and poetry, all with recognized masters. He also arrived with a large number of texts, many of which were new to Japan and were esoteric in character as well as several texts on the Sanskrit language and the Siddha script. However, in Kai's absence Emperor Kenmu had died and was replaced by Emperor Hise who exhibited no great enthusiasm for Buddhism. Kyokai's return from China was eclipsed by Sayak, the founder of the Ten-Day School, who found favor with the court during this time. Sayak had already had esoteric rites officially recognized by the court as an integral part of Ten-Day, and had already performed the Abhishika or initiatory ritual, for the court by the time Kai returned to Japan. Later, with Emperor Kenmu's death, Sayak's fortunes began to wane. Sayak requested, in 812, that Kai give him the introductory initiation, which Kai agreed to do. He also granted a second level initiation upon Sayak, but refused to bestow the final initiation because Sayak had not completed the required studies leading to a falling out between the two that was not resolved, this feud later extended to the Shinjin and Tendai sects. Little is known about Kai's movements until 809 when the court finally responded to Kai's report on his studies, which also contained an inventory of the texts and other objects he had brought with him, and a petition for state support to establish the new esoteric Buddhism in Japan. That document, the Catalogue of Imported Items, is the first attempt by Kai to distinguish the new form of Buddhism from that already practiced in Japan. The court's response was an order to reside in the Takaozen Temple in the suburbs of Kyoto. This was to be Kai's headquarters for the next 14 years. The year 809 also saw the retirement of Hisei due to illness and the succession of the Emperor Saga, who supported Kai and exchanged poems and other gifts. In 810, Kai emerged as a public figure when he was appointed administrative head of TDG, the central temple in Nara, and head of the SG. Shortly after his enthronement Saga became seriously ill, and while he was recovering, Hise fomented a rebellion, which had to be put down by force. Kai petitioned the emperor to allow him to carry out certain esoteric rituals which were said to enable a king to vanquish the seven calamities, to maintain the four seasons in harmony to protect the nation and family, and to give comfort to himself and others. The petition was granted. Prior to this, the government relied on the monks from the traditional schools in Nara to perform rituals, such as chanting the Golden Light Sutra to bolster the government, but this event marked a new reliance on the esoteric tradition to fulfill this role. With the public initiation ceremonies for Sayak and others at Takaozen in 812, Kai became the acknowledged master of esoteric Buddhism in Japan. 
he set about organizing his disciples into an order, making them responsible for administration, maintenance and construction at the temple, as well as for monastic discipline. In 813 Kai outlined his aims and practices in the document called the Admonishments of Kanan. It was also during this period at Takaozan that he completed many of the seminal works of the Shinjin school. All of these were written in 817. Records show that Kai was also busy writing poetry, conducting rituals and writing epitaphs and memorials on request. His popularity at the court only increased, and spread. Meanwhile, Kyukai's new esoteric teachings and literature drew scrutiny from a noted scholar-monk of the time named Takoitsu, who traded letters back and forth in 815 asking for clarification. The dialogue between them proved constructive and helped to give Kai more credibility, while the Nara schools took greater interest in esoteric practice. In 816, Emperor Saga accepted Kai's request to establish a mountain retreat at Mount Kaya as a retreat from worldly affairs. The ground was officially consecrated in the middle of 819 with rituals lasting seven days. He could not stay, however, as he had received an imperial order to act as advisor to the Secretary of State, and he therefore entrusted the project to a senior disciple. As many surviving letters to patrons attest, fundraising for the project now began to take up much of Kai's time, and financial difficulties were a persistent concern, indeed. The project was not fully realized until after Kai's death in 835. Kai's vision was that M.T. Kai was to become a representation of the mandala of the two realms that form the basis of Shinjin Buddhism, the central plateau as the womb realm mandala, with the peaks surrounding the area as petals of a lotus, and located in the center of this would be the diamond realm mandala in the form of a temple which he named Kongbuji the Diamond Peak Temple. At the center of the temple complex sits an enormous statue of Varokana, who is the personification of ultimate reality. In 821, Kai took on a civil engineering task, that of restoring Mano Reservoir, which is still the largest irrigation reservoir in Japan. His leadership enabled the previously floundering project to be completed smoothly, and is now the source of some of the many legendary stories which surround his figure. In 822 Kai performed an initiation ceremony for the ex-emperor Heisei. In the same year Saik died. When Emperor Kenmu had moved the capital in 784, he had not permitted the powerful Buddhists from the temples of Nara to follow him. He did commission two new temples, Tiji and Saiji which flanked the road at southern entrance to the city, protecting the capital from evil influences. However, after nearly 30 years the temples were still not completed. In 823 the soon-to-retire Emperor Saga asked Kai, experienced in public works projects, to take over TG and finish the building project. Saga gave Kai free reign, enabling him to make TG the first esoteric Buddhist center in Kyoto, and also giving him a base much closer to the court, and its power. The new emperor, Emperor Junna was also well disposed towards Kai. In response to a request from the Emperor, Kai, along with other Japanese Buddhist leaders, submitted a document which set out the beliefs, practices and important texts of his form of Buddhism. In his imperial decree granting approval of Kai's outline of esoteric Buddhism, Junna uses the term Shinjin SH for the first time. An imperial decree gave Kai exclusive use of TG for the Shinjin school which set a new precedent in an environment where previously temples had been open to all forms of Buddhism. It also allowed him to retain 50 monks at the temple and train them in Shinjin. This was the final step in establishing Shinjin as an independent Buddhist movement, with a solid institutional basis with state authorization. Shinjin had become legitimate. In 824, Kai was officially appointed to the temple construction project. In that year he founded Zenpikuji, the second oldest temple of the Edo region. In 824 he was also appointed to the Office of Priestly Affairs. The office consisted of four positions, with the supreme priest being an honorary position which was often vacant. The effective head of the SG was the Deisu. Kai's appointment was to the position of Shishu. In addition there was a Rishi who was responsible for the monastic code of discipline. At TG, in addition to the main hall and some minor buildings on the site, 
Kai added the lecture hall in 825 which was specifically designed along Shinjin Buddhist principles, which included the making of 14 Buddha images. Also in 825, Kai was invited to become tutor to the crown prince. Then in 826 he initiated the construction of a large pagoda at TG which was not completed in his lifetime. In 827 Kai was promoted to be Daisu in which capacity he presided over state rituals, the emperor and the imperial family. The year 828 saw Kai open his school of arts and sciences. The school was a private institution open to all regardless of social rank. This was in contrast to the only other school in the capital which was only open to members of the aristocracy. The school taught Taoism and Confucianism, in addition to Buddhism, and provided free meals to the pupils. The latter was essential because the poor could not afford to live and attend the school without it. The school closed ten years after Kai's death, when it was sold in order to purchase some rice fields for supporting monastic affairs. Kai completed his magnum opus, the JJ Shinran in 830. Because of its great length, it has yet to have been fully translated into any language. A simplified summary, his high Aku followed soon after. The first signs of the illness that would eventually lead to Kai's death appeared in 831. He sought to retire, but the emperor would not accept his resignation and instead gave him sick leave. Toward the end of 832, Kai was back on MT Kaya and spent most of his remaining life there. In 834, he petitioned the court to establish a Shinjin chapel in the palace for the purpose of conducting rituals that would ensure the health of the state. This request was granted and Shinjin ritual became incorporated into the official court calendar of events. In 835, just two months before his death, Kai was finally granted permission to annually ordain three Shinjin monks at MT Kaya the number of new ordainees being still strictly controlled by the state. This meant that Kaya had gone from being a private institution to a state-sponsored one. With the end approaching, he stopped taking food and water, and spent much of his time absorbed in meditation. At midnight on the 21st day of the third month, he died at the age of 62. Emperor Ninmi sent a message of condolence to Mount Kaya, expressing his regret that he could not attend the cremation due to the time lag in communication caused by Mount Kaya's isolation. However, Kai was not given the traditional cremation, but instead, in accordance with his will, was entombed on the eastern peak of Mount Kaya. When, some time after, the tomb was opened, K.B. Daishi was found as if still sleeping, with complexion unchanged and hair grown a bit longer. Legend has it that Kai has not died but entered into an eternal samadhi and is still alive on Mount Kaya, awaiting the appearance of Maitreya, the future Buddha. Kai a film from 1984 directed by Junya Sato. Kai is played by Kinya Kitaji and Sayak is played by Go Kato. The 1991 drama film Mandala, a China-Japan CO production, was based on Kai's travels in China. The film stars Toshiyuki Nagashima as Kai, also CO starring Junko Sakurada and Zhang Fenji as Huiguo. The 2017 drama film Legend of the Demon Cat stars Shita Sumtani as Kai.